Keeping venomous reptiles is an unforgiving hobby, requiring proper training and lots of experience. One simple mistake can be the difference between life and death. death, death. Remember, the most venomous snake in the world oh, is the whoa. one that just bit you. There are no venomous snakes with training wheels. Just because you see Viper Keeper handle snakes a certain way does not mean you should try it too. Hi, bud. How are you doing? You're getting big. It's time to move you to something bigger, huh? Huh? Yeah, you're a shy guy. You're very shy. This is the uh, Congo water cobra, who also doesn't have any sense of humor and doesn't like to be touched like uh, like some of the other cobras. Hey, yo! Oh. Doesn't take much to get this guy riled. Whoa! He took a good shot at my head. He's a pissy little guy. He's not like the Anuladas. Uh, Anuladas are like pussy cats. This guy doesn't screw around. He's fond of rats. Cute little buggers, aren't they? Hi guys. I'll let the, the, I'll let the other one do all the tongue flicking for me. Oh, that was nice. Oops. But I don't like rats. <laughs> don't rub your face on it because then the other one will want to eat your face. <laughs> yeah, this is all I got tonight. I don't have any mice thawed. I know you like mice. Yeah, I know. I know. You're a good cobra. I'm sorry. Come on, try it. Foodie, I'm going to rub my face. <laughs> I have a rat on it. Hmm. Is that rat on your lips I taste? Come on. Try it. <laughs> I know, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Come on, give it a shot. You can spit it out if you don't like it. Come on. No? It's like, oh, I feel bad for you. I feel bad. I'm going to have to get some mice for you, maybe. Hmm? Come on. Come on. Oh, that's sweet. Go ahead. Go ahead. It's all right. You got it? It's okay. 
Será que é grande? Now, of course, folks, you know, each individual is an individual and stuff, but in general, and I've come across those eight or ten different water cobras uh, and kept eight or, eight or ten different uh, individuals, raised them from babies and such, and I can say fairly convincingly that water cobras, and that's uh, Naya annulata, at least from the captive born individuals that I've worked with, are the most <coughs> benign as far as attitude goes. They hardly have a belligerent bone in their body. However, they are cobras, and if they bite you, you will need antivenin. <laughs> now, you, of course, fatso, uh, don't care. Uh, uh, well, why can't you go that way? Come on. Leave, uh, leave your friend alone. Uh, they're not really... Oh, there's a big gaboon yawn. Haha. <laughs> Only because I have the glasses on uh, were you able to see that. Um... You know, if you treat them kindly, they're very, very relaxed animals. You want to try another? Huh? No? He was like, okay, I did it for you. I tried it. I still don't like it, and I'm going to go and pout. I hate rats. They leave this bad taste in my mouth. Well, that was very nice. Uh, he at least tried it. What would you want any other uh, uh, kid to do? Hey, try it. If you don't like it, well then, I, that's okay. <laughs> He's a funny character. I'll get you some mice tomorrow. Aw, oh, poor guy. It's too bad this species isn't more available uh, because uh, they're as close to a beginner's cobra as, as possible. As I said, they're still cobras. Well, that was you that you slapped yourself in the head with your own tail, so don't get wacky uh, <laughs> and think that uh, some, somebody else did it. Um, as I was saying, uh, they're as easygoing as any culprit you'll ever meet, and of course, some individuals, um, you know, might have a, a bit of a bad scale day and stuff, but uh, uh, these are just fantastic... Uh, uh, members of the Naja family. Uh, uh, unfortunately, uh, they're not uh, not totally available. Uh, uh, I think my friend Kurt, who's uh, passed away a few years ago, uh, was the only guy that uh, that really bred them. Uh, and I haven't seen any more available. Uh, either as a wild caught or uh, or captive born. Okay, let's close this and open this and see if we can entice the other fellow to try it again. You want to try that again, huh? Here you go. Hmm? You want to try? Yeah. It's like sushi, you get used to it. Yeah. Not so excited about it, huh? 
It's like the old sea rations. Okay. No, not at all uh, what you're after, huh? Okay, watch your nose. Hey, bud. How you doing? How you doing? Huh? How you doing? Now, in contrast, uh, these larger uh, forest um, water culvers, uh, Naya and Yolada, these guys are a bit more forgiving than, than my friend uh, uh, Naya species. Uh, it's not even a named species yet. Naya congolensis is what I call it. Uh, uh, Naya and Yolada is... Uh, you know, I've had that little, that uh, Nio convalescent since it was a hatchling, and uh, I've had these guys since they hatched too, and so it's not because mm, the other guy doesn't know me very much. It's just that uh, uh, he's got a uh, bad personality compared to these guys. Yes, that's my hand. And <laughs> you never want to let them lick your hand because I've seen things, uh, snakes lick hands, and then all of a sudden just decide to say, hmm, this looks tasty, doesn't it, huh? Hi, how are you doing, huh? That's the littler one, only because this one's a bully. It's unfortunate that these guys are a little bit uh, uh, less common in the snake uh, world because these... These would make a very good starter uh, cobra because they're uh, uh, relatively easy to keep. Uh, they are relatively calm and, and quite uh, forgiving. Uh, right? Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Now they have their moments too, but uh, not like the convalescents. I can't. Uh, Congolescents wants to bite me. These guys only want to get out and explore. And then when you try to put them back in, they might get a little testy and stuff. They, they have their moments too, but generally speaking, as long as you don't have any mouse on your hands, uh, these guys are, are very easy going and quite docile. You guys can come out and explore when I uh, clean the floor here and disinfect it so you don't pick up any bugs from any other culvers or vipers that might be roaming around. Hey, bud. How you doing, huh? Huh? How you doing? Yeah, it's just me. Just me. Just me. There's no food. There's no food. No, I don't want you to tongue flick my hand that, uh, that closely. All right. You guys chill out. I'll get you some mice. Hey! <laughs> they don't like each other. They don't care about me so much. Uh, I'm okay. But the little one uh, has been bitten a number of times by the big one, so the little one doesn't allow the big one to get in her face uh, at all. So how quick uh, can we uh, change our demeanor? Huh? How about that? The only thing you can predict about snakes is that they'll be not so predictable, right? Huh? Huh? Oh, <laughs> you're going, uh, you're going back in there because uh, you've had enough, huh? You've had enough. Yep. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll come out and I'll try to make nice. <laughs> It's not, uh, it's not provoking.